Hey guys, this is Cool Crazy Chaos here. Um, just wanted to give you guys uh, you know, a shout out, just let you know that I'm still here. Uh, it's just there's a shitload of snow out there, so I'm not riding right now. But I had a viewer request um, to do a review on my Joe Rocket tank bag, tank bag, uh, rather. Sorry about that. Um, so here it is. Um, this is actually the Joe Rocket Hammerhead magnetic tank bag. Um, you know, you do need a, a magnetic, obviously a metal tank to stick it on. Um, there's no attachments for you to strap it on. But, you know, I've done my research and, you know, for my Ninja 250, this is like the perfect bag. Um, it's not too big, it's not too small. Um, and I'll get more into that um, as I do the review. So, here it is. Just want to give you guys a quick look around. Um, it does have a, a strip here that's actually reflective. Um, it does come in uh, different colors. I believe there's a red and a blue. And it's only a very minor strip across here that's like, or actually it's right over here that's colored here and then here, both sides. Um, it was going to go blue, but it was hard finding it, so I just got the black one. Um, anyway, it's, it does have a spot for your cell phone here. Um, I use it for both my cell phone and my play sport. It's a good place to keep it, quick access, and as well, GPS up here. Um, you know, I, I really, really like this tank bag, and I don't think I'll get any other ones for a while. It works really well. So it does mount like this on the tank. It's got a bottom pad here, and as you can see, it's padded as well. So it kind of acts like a, a tank pad as well. It actually goes right over the tank pad that I have. Um, very well padded. Um, the magnet actually is removable. If you look in the back here can actually, it's velcroed shut, open it up, pull the magnets out, I don't know why you would want to do it, it's a tank bag, so I'm not really going to be washing it, um, and it also has these two fins, I actually have them tucked in right now, so when you decide to actually carry this off with your shoulder strap, which is an attachment, straps on there, straps on there, and loop it around, put it over your head, and carry it around where you want it, so here's one side, it's got the magnet in there, again removable, another one over here, uh, I'm just going to tuck them in for now, just get them out of the way so I don't break the glass here, there we go, um, you can tuck this one in as well, um, as you can see here it's got the hole, it's just a little bit of a pain because it's got the padding here and a little bit difficult to get in there, the only one you cannot tuck in is this top one up here. It's going to be flapping around when you're carrying it around, but no biggie. As you can see here, it's it's got a, a rubber coating. It's got it on the magnet. It's got it on the back here. It does a really good job at preventing your tank from getting, you know, scuffed up at all, as long as you keep it clean. It's like a, I don't know, industrial grade rubber. Um, it does a good job at gripping so it doesn't slip around, doesn't scratch your paint. A lot of people have said, you know, if you get a magnetic tank bag, it's going to scratch up your paint, chip your paint. You know, I don't know what the you know magnetic properties of paint are, but I've been using this for a full season, and you can't tell. It fits perfect on my bike. Um, I guess I'll put in a picture in there showing you guys. Um, you know, it's not too big, it's not too small, it looks good. So let's get into the inside here. Um, anyway, in regards to actually access to these top covers, it's just a single zipper, and as you can see, it's got pretty big uh, zipper attachment here, so it's easy for you to zip it open and close with your gloves on. That's one thing that I really like about this is that it's got easy access. Um, you know, a lot of bags, they just have these tiny little zippers and no attachments and it's difficult to actually pull open and shut and when you're riding around with your gloves on. So generally, this is the zipper here. As you can see, I'm doing this with one hand. A lot of ease. So let's say it's closed right now. You're riding around. You want to open it, grab a drink real quick. You know, you just push it open and it's pretty much there. It's got a velcro in the back here and you just rip it open and it's open. Before I get inside I also did want to mention that it does have a rubber band here for you to put some change in. You know if you're going to be going across the border or anything you want some change, um, whatever. Um, you can put some other stuff there but I'll leave it to your imagination. So let's go inside. Um, it's quite large in here. 
Um, this is actually the strap. If you're going to be carrying it around, I actually just tuck it in underneath here and the part that doesn't fully open, just get it out of the way. I leave it in there. Um, this is actually, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little pouch and on the outside here, there's another zipper. And when you open this, it actually has a rain cover in here. It's pretty waterproof already. I've ridden in this in the rain and nothing inside gets wet and I've really never used that. If you want some extra storage, you can actually pull the cover out um, give yourself a little bit more space. Um, but as you can see, it's it's got a lot of space. You can actually fit a six pack in here with ease. Um, probably not supposed to because there's a warning on here telling you not to exceed five pounds. Um, but I've done it and the thing doesn't move. The magnets on here are powerful. <laughs> this thing won't move. If you can make it fit in here, honestly, do it. It's not going anywhere. Um, you know, and it's not too big, which I've seen a lot of tank bags that are, especially for a lot of the other sports bikes. Um, this is the perfect size. Um, I don't know if you caught that earlier, but there are two zipper compartments for smaller materials here. Just zip it open, shove some stuff in there, and there's actually another bigger zipper pouch up here and it's actually got mesh so if you want to put something in here just so you don't forget that it's in there you can actually see through it and yeah it works great you know, very easy to access a lot of storage very durable this thing is like this thing feels like it can take a bullet like it's a very high quality it's got a lot of padding all around um, there's about, honestly, I would say that it feels like there's about an inch of padding here, inch of padding here, and it's got, honestly, maybe an inch and a half of padding underneath, so whatever you do put inside, you know, it's got the inch padding here. I think it's pretty safe in here as long as it's packed in. Usually I have my helmet bag in here, uh, you know, a Ziploc, a plastic bag just for whenever you need it, extra pair of gloves, so whatever I do put in here usually is pretty secure, so... If you guys are looking for an awesome magnetic tank bag, I do recommend the Joe Rocket Hammerhead. Perfect bag. It is a magnetic tank bag. There is no attachment. So if you got like a CBR 600 with a plastic tank, don't get it. Otherwise, go all out. You know, it's a little bit pricey. Um, it ran me about, I think, 60 bucks Canadian. I've seen cheaper tank bags, but for what you get, I recommend it. Um, also, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have a whole bunch of mods coming up to my bike. I've ordered um, Louis Moto seat covers, um, new grips, new um, bar ends, clutch and brake levers, windscreen. Um, I may do instructional videos on how to install them. It's pretty straightforward, but if anyone wants to know or if I actually get the opportunity to do it, by all means, I'm going to throw it up there. If you guys have any questions about this tank bag or anything else you know just give me a shout out I'm gonna be getting ready for work it is one o'clock on the dot that's my computer my beautiful i7 build that I've done myself maybe I'll do a review of it one day <laughs> I don't know anyway guys um, cool crazy chaos is gonna be signing out